Hey guys, I've been asked to make a video on my motorcycle conversion to an electric bike. Uh, so right here we have a 1954 Pooch Allstate. I think it originally had a 150 cc engine in it. I sourced it locally from a guy for 300 bucks without the engine. Um, he had the same idea, he just never got around to it. I've got some downtime, so I decided to go for it. Uh, we're, this, I've put about a, a week's worth of work into it, maybe maybe a total of like 40 hours. And this is where we're at right now. So the plan is to, I have a, a leftover Onyx 23 amp hour battery that comes in kind of like an ammo box, which is gonna be perfect for this build. The idea was to find a motorcycle, mount the, the battery kind of exposed, and then have the fuel tank house the controller and the wiring for the bike. Uh, so right here we have the fuel tank, which was actually what I was working on right now. It was the only thing with a lot of rust on it, so I, I chopped it out. This is where I'm gonna stuff the, the, the controller. Uh, I'm using a step down to power my 12 volt accessories uh, and then the wiring. So if you look in here, I'm actually starting to drill some wires. I wanna have everything run through the inside and mount to the inside so there, there won't be any wires actually exposed on the bike except for the main wire that leads from the motor uh, up to the controller. Uh, I'm gonna just start from the front here at, at what we had to do. So a lot of rust on, on the bike. The front wheel scared me because right now I don't really have a way of stopping it. And I thought, hmm, I don't, probably won't weld on. I don't, I'm not welding at all on this bike. Um, so the, the idea was, oh, maybe I'll just have the bike stop itself by the motor itself using regen, but uh, it's not safe. Um, so a uh, friend said, why don't you rebuild the drum? I said, okay, let's go for it. Drum actually ended up in good good condition. The pads had a lot of thickness to them. And though I re-lubed it and, and, and cleaned it out a little bit, it really didn't need much. And I got really lucky. Those bearings that are inside, they were in great condition. I repacked them. This wheel spins better than most bikes I have. The tire itself, which I got from Treatland, love Treatland if you ever need any moped uh, scooter parts, that's the place to go. Uh, this tire was probably the hardest tire I've ever installed on a bike. Uh, I don't want to do it again. Hopefully it never gets a flat. Uh, da -da -da -da. And to get the old one off, I used an angle grinder, just cut it off since I knew I wasn't going to use it for anything. The forks were seized and I was almost ready just to sacrifice it. It's not like I'm going to get a rebuild kit for a bike this old. So I thought, first I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll run it rigid and, and kind of have, be like an old school chopper. And then since I had so much downtime, I decided let's soak them. Let's put some penetrant oil on it. And after about two to three days, it, it actually unseized and now i've got a fully functioning uh front shock albeit from the 50s it's you know it's by no means any type of gas suspension but it's pretty cool the light itself i'm going to convert to an led so i had to uh i had to gut out the old one they don't make a light in that size an led so i found the closest one i could off of amazon and it had, I got lucky, it had an aluminum housing and I was able just to use a, the angle grinder with a sanding bit and just methodically go all around it till I got it down to, I think I needed a little over five inches. Um, inside there was a bunch of wires. I'm, I'm debating right now whether to put a horn inside there or put, mount it inside the fuel tank, but there's tons of room uh, to add more stuff if I want. It had the old, old odometer up top. I don't know what I was going to do with that. I kind of thought about pulling it out, putting in an electrical, like a, who knows, like a, a voltage gauge. But um, my my handlebar will actually have one. So I might just leave that looking old. Uh, I do have to order a new cable for the drum brake over here. Uh, drum brake operates, you pull up, pulls the drums apart. Um, cable, Kind of cool having an old spring cable housing. I thought I might keep it for now and see if I can make it work. Just run the new wire in there. If not, I've got the new one to go, ready to go. Um, a lot of what I've been doing is knocking out dents, taking off as much rust as I can, 
doing the same thing on these handlebars, getting the handlebars prepped and ready to go when the new motor controller and the controls for it, uh, which would be the throttle and the, the brakes arrive in a week. Uh, other things moving back that we've done, this bike was really rusty, dirty, and oxidized. And at first I tried cleaning with CLR. It really, after one day, the bike almost turned white and not like a good white, it was like really a faded, you lost its, its color. So I tried this, this is actually, um, this entire bike now is covered in used motor oil from my oil changes. And I actually really love the way it looks and knowing how like oil stains on the driveway stay for a long time. I'm, I'm assuming this will probably stay for a long time before it, it starts to show its oxid, you know, turn white again. Um, one of the hardest things I had to decide what to do right here, this is a bracket. To make this whole thing work, I thought this motorcycle was gonna be bigger and I'd be able to just hang the batteries uh, sideways like that. Uh, but when the bike came, it's so small in here, my battery's so big, battery has to be hung at an angle, which meant, and the fuel tank had to be raised, which meant I had to, and this was a tough decision, but I had to cut the original bracket. And I'm not doing any welding on this bike, as you know. Uh, so this is a custom bracket fuel tanks now about two inches higher in the back and then the battery goes at an angle it actually hangs from two uh straps with quick releases one one right here by the rear springs one in the front and it detaches really quick so if if you do go to public and you let's say you want to go to like a flea market park the bike lock it it has a key to shut off everything, but another option is just to uh, remove the battery and carry it. The battery itself has a, a handle on it, weighs probably, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds. Um, the foot pegs were broken, so I, I got some aftermarket ones from Treatland. Uh, this bike's a little bit too small for me, so I actually just ordered some longer ones that should be here next week. Mm, right here, this was a tough one. The original kickstand was in the center of the bike. I can't see if you can see it, but the bracket for it actually broke. And like I said, not welding. So the solution became to make one. I had to cut a generic one and mount it uh, to the side of the frame here. I already had a hole, so I only had to drill one new hole. I'm really actually happy with how this turned out. It's got the perfect lean. I think it'll actually be even better when the new tire arrives. Uh, that was a huge weight off my shoulders. Uh, other than that, we're kind of up to speed here. Um, I'll take you inside to show you the electrical. Since I don't have the controller, uh, I don't want to actually mount anything to the bike because I don't know exactly where it's going to go yet. But I did want to make this process as fast as possible. So right here, battery, 72 volt, 23 amp hour. And then on this board, I've mounted a, uh, that's a step down that takes 72 volts, knocks it down to 12 volts. These are a couple junction boxes that, uh, just for the wiring, probably won't put those on the bike, but I have them just in case. This is the LED light that I was telling you about that I ground down right there. And then here's some uh, of the controls I purchased off Amazon. It's a moment toyer switch for the horn. Uh, this one's actually hooked up right now. So that's what I was originally going to use for the LED headlamp. Let's test it out. There you go. Booyah. Anyway, that's it guys. Uh, update. Hopefully one more update in a week, two weeks time. And the bike should be done with the road test. All right. Thanks for tuning in.